Finally, 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 Adobe Illustrator has been updated to have grid, mirror, and radial repeat options native on the desktop. So let's jump in and find out exactly what they do. Tip tot. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tut. Today we're in Illustrator looking at a long awaited update with radial mirror and grid repeats now native to the desktop. Really brilliant tools that allow you to quickly and easily duplicate content in a uh, load of different ways. So as you can see here, I have an illustration. Uh, there are three types of repeat going on here. We have a radial repeat for her bun of her hair, a grid repeat for the dots on her trousers and a mirror repeat for the reflection in the puddle. Uh, I'm just going to go to my blank document, which is the same thing, but without those repeats attached. And we're going to go through them one by one. So first up is the radial repeat. Uh, I have here just a shape that I've built with the circle tool and then just drag the bottom down to be one lump in her bun. OK, to turn this onto radial repeat, we're just going to click object, go down to repeat and choose radial. Now, there's a number of settings that you can apply and they are all um, already in the interface for this radial control. This inner circle here, if you grab this circle dot and click and drag it, you'll be able to increase the diameter and rotation of your um, circle. So you can drag it down until you get something that you're relatively happy with. I'm just going to leave it loose for now so I can explain the other settings. The um, up and down arrows on the side here will increase or decrease the amount of duplications that you've got in your radius. So we're going to go for about 10, I think will look good. And then if you look at the other end of your circle directly opposite the white dot, you see these two semicircles. Clicking and dragging these in either direction will re retain your radial repeat, but clip off any of the elements that you drag and you can drag those in both directions. For this particular one, however, we don't want any of them dragged off and we want a nice tight bun. And you can just manipulate, oh, excuse me, you can manipulate and scale and rotate your um, <clears throat> radial repeated object in the normal ways with the normal transform controls and that doesn't affect your radial repeat. So I'm just going to position that in the right place on her head there and we've now looked at the radial repeat option which is great. Next up is the grid repeat option. Now for that I have two polka dots ready to go okay and this is just a dot in the top left and a dot in the bottom right made with the circle tool and I've grouped them together. Object, repeat, grid. Automatically, that's going to pop out a grid similar to the um, grid repeat in Adobe XD. Dragging each one of these handles on the right or bottom, respectively, will extend your grid. And adjusting the left and right slider at the top will adjust the um, uh, horizontal distribution of your grid. And dragging the uh, slider, the same on the vertical axis here, will adjust the vertical axis of your grid. So I'm just going to get something until it looks fairly even that I'm pretty much happy with. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to position that over my polka dot trousers here. Just extend it a little bit further. Now, this is true with all of the um, types of repeats that you can create. But if you double click on your original or any of the copies, you can go in and um, edit directly your shapes and all of your other shapes will automatically update. For example, if I want a little bit more space between my polka dots, I can then jump out completely of my grid repeat and reposition it on my page until I'm happy with the results. Maybe something like that. And then of course, the trousers, I'm just going to copy her legs from underneath with control C, paste them in place with control F, control shift, right square bracket will bring them to the top. If I click Pathfinder to merge them. I can then just select both of these, right click and choose make clipping mask. And now she has some lovely polka dot trousers using the grid repeat. And the good thing about both of these options is that they are still editable. OK, I can go back in to any of my radial options here and just click and drag to my heart's content. You notice that you don't have to necessarily click the controls. You can, of course, go inside and move an original uh, object to completely change your um, radial repeats or any of your repeats, really. The last one then is the mirror repeat. For that, I'm going to grab everything on the woman layer apart from this pre-prepared reflection in the water here. And I'm just going to hit control G to group that together. So bearing in mind now we now have nested repeats, which is incredibly powerful. I'm just going to choose object, repeat, mirror. And that's going to create a mirrored line for us on this object. Grabbing the center dot or anywhere on the line will allow you to drag your mirror around and create some really quite strange uh, characters. Oh, that lady might be my new favorite lady I've ever made. Um, but additionally, if you grab either end of the line, you can rotate to this mirror as well. OK, and holding shift will lock it. If you want precise 
rotation, you can come over here to your repeat options in your properties panel and type in a specific repeat, which we do. You can then obviously drag closer or further away your reflection. I'm just going to drag it so that it's pretty close here, like so. And now I need a clipping mask for this. Um, so I'm actually going to go to object and expand. Now what this does is it releases your mirror and turns it into an editable object. For example, if I ungroup these now, I now have two separate copies of each of these. If I add um, control C, control F there to um, place a copy of the mirror, copy of the mirror, sorry, copy of the puddle on top to clipping mask this, then it would have clipping masked both of my characters, which is why I separated them out. Then I'm just going to drag my shadow on top like so, so I can easily create a gradient. You could obviously have done that with the appearance panel as well if you'd liked. And there you have the three types of repeats that you have in the new Adobe Illustrator update. And they are so powerful. You can straight away see how uh, useful these are going to be in a variety of situations. So hopefully you found this tutorial useful. Um, I really like this. I've been waiting for this for so long. It's a feature that should have been here for a while. And the fact that it took this long is frankly ridiculous, but it's here now. So that's great for us. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. There's more Illustrator stuff coming on the way. So if you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell so that you get all of the no notifications for new videos coming out to the channel. And uh, thank you very much. I'll see you next time for another episode of Tip Top. Absolutely massive. Thank you to my level two and above members. WN62, Motion Explainer, Maybe Sharma, Ian Costello, Dushant Singe, Lone Wolf 16, Starry Tichi, Katmar, Rob V, Jason Cole Ruddy, JK Digital Creations, The Sorcier, Da Vinci Goel, MP, Dima Zuev, Vola Furs, MLM Hoover, Ralak M, Wembembo, Two Steps to Chill, and Josh Colon. You guys are bloody lovely. Click the join button below for more information on how to become a member of the Tip Top Zone yourself for exclusive perks. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.